Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Focus on ownership. Focus on ownership. And that's just a general thing. Focus on ownership as much as, much as possible. You know, like if like when you get a car, focus on getting that thing paid off. And even though many people rent, and let's be real, I rent right now, but I've owned like a, I had a house before and also a condo. And as soon as, uh, well, my, when my youngest son gets out of uh, high school, then it'll be a serious think, uh, thought about where I will want to live permanently. And trust me, I'll be looking for that house, but it has to be someplace. Right now, I'm going back and forth between the West Coast and uh, nearer to D.C. But anyway, that's still an ownership thing. Also, think about in terms of owning like any products you create. Like um, like Dolph, who, uh, you know, unfortunately, his life was taken from him recently. One thing about him, he owned everything. He owned his masters. He owned several properties. He owned. I'm going to tell you something now, and this especially if you have like intellectual property, like you do songs, books, anything along that line, don't own it, own it. I'm going to tell you something, and I can say this from personal experience. One of the things that helped me is that I own my books outright. I didn't go to a publisher. I did not go to a publisher. I published my own books, and some people say you'll make more money and stuff. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, no, you don't. Let me just be clear about that. Only time in writing, let me just give a lesson in writing and publishing. Only way you really make money, you don't really make money from the initial publication like the hard covers. You make money from the reprint rights. You know, you make money from that. Indeed, uh, and just a quick lesson in publishing. A lot of times when a publisher even gives you an advance, they give you an advance. You got to make that money back. And if you don't, you might have to pay them back. It's a lot to it. In fact, a big thing now is many writers publishing their own stuff. And platforms like Amazon make it uh, possible. I highly recommend that because it's ownership. You know, if you're a songwriter or something, own the masters. Like, own what you can. Try to Look, yes, a lot of people got to work for someone. It's no shame in that. Is no shame in that. In fact, a regular job by itself, just by itself, probably won't get you rich. But it can finance if you use the money from it and get into investments and stuff. Boom. Speaking of investments, the investments that you own are money. Everything from owning stock to owning a parking lot. Focus on that. That's how, I mean, seriously, that's how you have to do. You got to own something, something that makes money at the very least for you. Very important. I can't emphasize that enough. Yeah, there's going to be some stuff you might have to pay for. You might, you know, whether it's a mortgage, whether it's a car note, whatever. Ain't no shame in that. But in your mind, your goal should be to own something, to own a product. You know, you might be that type who can invent something. Don't sell it to anybody. <laughs> Don't sell it to anybody. What you need to do, like say you come up with some invention. First, you need to patent it. You need to make sure that thing is in your name. And then you have plenty of manufacturers out there who will take your product. You still own it, and they'll create it. They'll mass produce it for you. And, yeah, you got to pay them, but that's fair. You're still the owner. Like uh, one of the things, in, um, I, I ain't going to get too deep into it. I, I'll just say it was a business I was familiar with uh couple decades ago and they looked like they were growing it was tough and it was tight but they sold out right away and I'm gonna be real with you that business ended up falling real quick because the person the entity that bought that particular business I'll just say it was a website they just didn't want competitors for their own stuff (laughs) they just didn't want competitors so they say they would buy it out and I was looking at such the potential of this particular website and I was like not only, I was pissed for two reasons. One, they sold they sold it, period, instead of just working on it and building. The owners of it didn't need money like that. They both had regular jobs. So they, they weren't pressed for money. Two, what they sold it for was scary as shit. I mean, it was so low. It was so, it was so low. It, it, 
you know, I, I could have got a good loan and bought it. Somebody could have got a second mortgage on their own home and bought, bought this particular business. In fact, at the time, I knew some individuals who could have bought it outright. And I was just like, yeah, I gave it up for this. And they said, well, we gave it up for that and some stock. Oh, the business that bought it, this stock ended up becoming worthless anyway. But they weren't thinking in terms of uh, ownership. And you got to think in terms of controlling something, owning something, whether it's for business or just in life, period. Like I said, like a basic thing is the car. Because one thing when I got my car, I, I paid it off in a year. Because I wanted to own it. I was like, no, I want to own it outright. I don't want to play with any of this other stuff. And that was important to me. Now, a home, that's tough. And one thing I say with a home, and this is one thing that I'm actually doing now, is just saving enough money to put a significant down payment when I decide to get another home. A, a very Not just some 10% or whatever. Where I'm thinking in terms of 50% at a minimum. I'm saying at a minimum. That's my goal. Just put all that extra money away, all that stuff. Now, that's me. You don't have to do that. But my thing is put myself in a position to have outright ownership. So, you know, and like I said, that's that's a long-term goal. That, I say I got about two more years for that. There's, like I said, uh, in the area I'm in, I like to school for uh, my youngest son. So I was like, okay, I can hang out here for a little bit. Hang out here for a little bit. But just in general, though, just have that idea of, like, I want to own it. If you create, especially, especially, especially if you have intellectual property, if you have real property, whatever, own it. Don't think, always don't think in terms of selling something. Like, for some of y'all who might own a home, but, you know, you want to move or something, if you can, don't sell it. Don't sell it because people always need a place to sleep and you own it. You can always make money off of it. That's an income producing asset. So there's so much you can do. See, when you own something, there is so much you can do. There is so much you can do. All right. So but just you just in general, just have that focus. So anyway. Y'all know the deal, because you know why we want to focus on on, uh, ownership. We want to make that money, so let's go make that money.